all right welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel my name is camila and in this video i would just be discussing the different ways that i like to keep my hair moisturized or length retention so i do believe that moisturizing my hair is very important when it comes to me retaining length i actually feel like it's one of the top things that really just helps me maintain and retain length um and i have found different things along the way that has helped me out now the first thing that I'm probably gonna mention is like a no-brainer you would think but some people maybe not um the first thing is that I moisturize my hair now I think the issue with not this statement but the thing about moisturizing hair some people say that's moisturize moisturizing this isn't that has no moisture this does this doesn't I don't know what I do is when my hair is wet I like to put conditioner and oil in it and it feels moisturized and juicy to me and that's just the way that I do my hair personally um but not only do i moisturize it i try to do it more than uh, one time a week now this depends on the routine that i have going based off of like the hairstyle or whatever that i'm doing at the time yeah the hairstyle that i'm doing at the time um with this style i would try and moisture moisturize my hair at least uh two times a week now when i say that i redo my twist and just throw some uh conditioner oil in it again wet it do all that um but i only do the back side i don't do the front um twice a week the front i only do once a week just because this is flat twist and although i can't grip anybody else's hair for whatever reason i can grip mine and it puts tension on the front so i don't like to redo that too often the front part but i will retwist the back now doing it twice a week i just feel like it just kind of stays moisturize and it helps me um keep it moisturized till the next time because my hair is moisturized at that time it can be kind of messy in a sense of getting on like my bedding or on my clothes so i do like to keep my hair up because i do feel like that also kind of locks in the moisture like having it in a bun like the the hair on the inside is kind of protected but it also kind of stays uh it doesn't dry out as fast so I do like to wear updos rather than down, uh, wearing my hair down um, for multiple reasons. It keeps the moisture in, but it also helps when it comes to getting the product on myself as well as on like my bedding or my clothes. So that is what I like to do. And I think that that is helpful too. The type of style is important. But for the most part, I mainly wear my hair up. I don't wear it out as often. With this style, I can, but I just don't do it as often. So I think wearing it up is also important, but another thing being that my hair can get kind of messy i do like to wrap my hair a certain way and i think that that can contribute to to it as well because i think this is i could be wrong you know sorry um i think it's considered the greenhouse method or the baggy method or something like that but basically when i go to sleep i'll sleep on white sheets and i don't want it to be stained by the oil or any of the product in my hair so i like to wrap my hair with layers and I think the way that I do it it could fall into one of those methods so the first thing that I do is I just put on a regular scarf so this is a big scarf I like to use big scarves and I actually bought like a whole bunch of like large scarves it took me a minute to find the ones that I wanted but um not like style wise just the size um and I was able to find like a good handful so I take a big scarf and I wrap it on my hair first now I prefer to do that one because i feel like it lays down the front of my hair as somebody who doesn't use edge control or like any other products really besides conditioner and oil i mean other little things but no type of like edge control or not uh i don't know no gel or nothing like that i don't use anything to like really lay my hair so i just kind of rely on my scarf so i put the scarf on first for that but also i put it on because um I need the layers because the next thing that I put on is a shower cap. Now this shower cap is too small. I got it from Marshalls, Marshalls, or TJ Maxx. I always want to say Michaels, but I got it from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, you know, one of those stores. They're practically cousins, but I have this and it's just too small. It doesn't fit on my head. I don't know if I can actually, like it doesn't cover <laughs> my whole head in a bun, out of bun, but with the scarf on, 
it helps it from slipping and it covers the part the majority of my hair where like a lot of the moisture is this is already going to dry out just because of the way that my hair is set up but this part is what i really want to keep moisturized so it does cover that and that's where the majority of like the product is so i feel like it is still beneficial to use this even though it doesn't fit my whole head so it's this scarf or well, a scarf in general and then it's a shower cap and then it is a bonnet so i like to put on like three layers and it really stems from me trying to protect my sheets but also i feel like it does help because my hair is moisturized and it has like that trapped heat in there because when i take it off my hair feels like it's been in a sauna of some sort so i do like to do the three layers and i think that helps me keep my hair moisturized until the next time that i retwist it or add some more moisture to it Another product that I like to use sometimes, I don't really do it all the time just because I am in a drier climate, um, but it is Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So I have it, and I think I mentioned it in a video before. I don't know, because I be making videos and I don't post them, and I also don't rewatch my videos, so I have no idea. But it's the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So I think that this is good based off of what I seen hyaluronic acid is supposed to be like a humectant so it brings in that moisture but i also read something i don't know read heard something along the lines of that where it was if you put it on there but there's no moisture for it to pull like out of the air then it could like pull it from your hair so i get weary of when i use it because i do live in a drier climate it's not really moist moist it's not really humid where i'm at so i feel like i don't want to had the opposite effect but i do like to use that mainly on my ends not necessarily throughout my hair just because it is a smaller bottle and i do have a lot of hair not saying that your hair has to be like drenched in it but just to make sure that i get like the most out of the product i don't use it on all of my hair so i do like to use that and as i mentioned the climate is dry here so ways that i like to kind of assist myself when it comes to that is i use a humidifier so i use a humidifier just to keep some moisture in the air at the moment i kind of hybrid i go into the office and i work from home uh, my job i don't know if i still have one but <laughs> i um at the moment i'm hybrid i go in and i work from home um so while i'm working from home i like to keep the humidifier on because it put moisture into the air and i feel like that just helps me overall whether that be skin hair what have you i think that it's just a nice addition and i sometimes will keep kind of like the window crack because if i don't it gets really humid in there and it is it puts out moisture for sure um, so I do like to use that now I didn't initially have it for my hair but I do think that it can be helpful and I do think that it really works on my hair especially when I'm sleeping just because I remember I had my hair straightened and I only wore my bonnet and the next day I woke up and my hair was wavy because of the humidifier the the water got through my bonnet and it got to my hair so I'm just like well it might be helpful but even though the way that i sleep with this i do have on so many layers that it probably doesn't reach my hair but when i'm out in my room and doing my work and typing and all of that i am sitting in the room so it's like it does help my hair in that way okay so another thing that i like to use i actually bought because when i travel my nose and like my throat it gets really dry i tend to not drink a lot of water or liquid on the plane or before i get on the plane or anything like that just because i refuse to use like the airplane bathrooms i rarely use it um but and i mainly really honestly the reason why i really don't care for them one because they're loud and scary but two because of soul plane too i'm like mm, not that i would ever put my behind on one of those but it's just like i don't know i've just been scarred so me personally i don't um like to go to the bathroom so i don't drink a lot of water and i think that affects like my sinuses and stuff so i bought one of these because i was like hey this is like a little mister and basically what it does is you open this and it provides you with a little bit of moisture a little something going on so you can just you know help yourself out bring the water back in because planes can be very drying so i thought that this would be like a cool little gadget 
Now, I never actually used it on the plane, but I found that this is also a cool thing to carry around for like your hair. Um, because as somebody who likes to retain moisture and make sure that my hair isn't like dried out, this is just a fine little mist. It doesn't drench my hair. It just gives it like a little burst of water. And I think it's um, better personally than carrying um, a spray bottle just because it doesn't leak. The way that you put it on it doesn't leak and it's not just for your hair you can use it for your face and i just like the the mist is really fine so i think that it is just like a nice little refresher you know so this is something that i do like to use um it does it it has like this little thing here that tells you if your skin is really dry or if you need some moisture now the only thing is i think it only works if your skin is like wet um, but it has the sensor like here. So you put this on your skin and then it tells you if your skin is dry and it'll be like red if you're dry or green. I don't really think it'll work on the hair, but maybe. And it also is rechargeable and I think it might even be a portable charger, but I could be wrong. Um, pretty easy to fill up and it's just compact, small. It's not really too big. Depends on how big of like a purse or something that you carry, but it is a cool way to kind of moisturize your hair and skin on the go. So fun little get. Another thing that I have decided to start doing in between washes. So I don't wash my hair with like a clary a clarifying shampoo all the time. Um, like I probably do that maybe like once a month. Now, when it comes to in between washes, I know people like to co-wash, but I really don't see the, I don't really feel like it's good for me to put conditioner on my scalp because I do know that I have some like build up. Well, not build up. I get like dandruff or scalp, you know, your scalp get a little, a little thick. So you need to wash it. Um, and I like to have a, a slight lather, you know, slight lather, a little something, something. So I've decided to use baby shampoo. Now I know that's not a new thing to people and they've used baby shampoo in the past or what have you. I have not personally. I've only used like baby shampoo or kid shampoo when I was a baby and a child. So I am going to start using it now just on my scalp, just for a slight lather, not on like the ends of my hair or anything like that, just to clear up my scalp in between washes, just because I do think that you need a nice clean scalp for healthy hair. So I ended up buying the Baby Dove Texture Hair Care Hydrating Shampoo and I use that on my scalp like in between washes. I haven't done it that that often so it's not like I'm like oh it's an amazing thing but it is something that I'm doing. So I thought it'd be worth mentioning and I think that this helps with moisture because it's not stripping my hair of all of its moisture and I only kind of strip my hair like once a month. But in between, I'm using kind of like a gentler product. Now, I know some people could be like, hey, why don't you just get the products that are like in like the ethnic aisle? I personally have had bad experiences using those products. And I think that um, it's usually like a small bottle. The price is sometimes just absurd and you know I'm all for supporting black businesses but let's keep it a buck it don't be black for too long you sooner or later it'd be sold off to somebody or was never black to begin with so I'ma just go with what makes me comfortable and I'm gonna try this one so this is the one that I have I'll post like photos and stuff but this is the bottle that I have and I've been using it and so far so good I also bought the conditioner but I don't know what I'm really using for, but I did buy it. So yes, that is what I am doing. That is what I've been doing. And I think that's it. I think that's pretty much all I do. Now that is pretty much all the things that I do. I feel like moisture is kind of like around the clock type thing. And these are all the things that I do in like my day to day um, life to make sure that I maintain the moisture in my natural hair. Hopefully some of that stuff was helpful, maybe new, maybe not, um, and can help other people keep their hair nice and moisturized. One thing that I will say before I end this video is I don't overdo it. That sounds like a lot of stuff, but it's it's just like little things here and there. But what I mean by that is having your hair, or at least for me, having my hair constantly wet can create like scalp issues. And I personally don't want that, so I do give my chance I do give my scalp a chance to dry 
So what I mean by that is when I sleep, maybe I don't sleep with my hair in a bun. So the hair is still moisturized, but my scalp has a little bit more breathing room. Another thing is if I do, maybe I put it into two buns. So like that middle part of my hair that would constantly be covered by my, my bun or my wet hair is um, able to breathe and dry a little bit. I mainly just want to keep the length of my hair moisturized, not necessarily my scalp. So with all of this and all the things that I do, I do try to make sure that I dry my scalp um, throughout that time. Keep my scalp dry, but the ends moisturized or damp to an extent. But yeah, so that is all that I have for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, I will try to continue to push out more videos and just go from there. So thank you for watching. That is all I have.